hey there, people of the grid. Let's turn that down. So, day is done. We are on route to get a Christmas tree. I've got the young Samantha driving the car. Sammy, how you doing? Good? Good talk. Melissa, just coming to help. We're going to pick out an amazing Christmas tree, right? Yeah. It's the first time we ever drove was getting the tree last year. Was that, is that, so this time a year ago was the first time you ever drove? Yes. Oh, and on this road, which was very scary for you, wasn't it? With the tree in the back. Because this, well, no, but this is a busy road, Melissa, so this one's a bit, a bit higher difficulty level. So we are on our way to, uh, we've got these local stores, they stock up on trees. This year, we're told that it might be a bit thinner selection just because, uh, I don't know why. I, I know there was the logistics thing and there was the issue in British Columbia where there was flooding, but a lot of our trees actually come from the other side of our country, um, from the east side of the country rather than the west, which I don't understand that, but okay. So uh, we're gonna go see what they have and if all goes well, we're gonna have a nice Christmas tree again this year. Yeah, you know, I don't think they brought in as much as they normally do, but they bring in too much and then they just sit around and don't go, don't get sold. It's better than us going like at the end of December to see no trees except for like maybe two. I know, but that's when the really good deals are to be had, Lissa. You go like on December 24th, you get a good deal on a Christmas tree. Or you don't get a Christmas tree. I love that smell of fresh Christmas tree. The entire car smells like a forest. It's nice. So yeah, she told us there at the lot that uh, they just didn't get that many trees given to them. And um, did she say why? Uh, no, she said short supply. Just right. they had short supply. Yeah, so there's a limited amount. So it's probably good that we went when we did because uh, they're gonna go pretty quick. So this year there will not be an overabundance of trees, although, our local Ikea, every other year, they buy trees like crazy. And they're not the big trees, they're just little ones. But you can get Ikea trees, they were like $10, I think. Maybe even five. They were super, super cheap. Not the prettiest trees, but cost-effective trees. Tree prices, they've gone up. Normally, I think our trees cost us just about $85, $90. This one was 119 so uh, not only is there less supply but the prices well of course they go hand in hand less supply prices go up I think I normally used to tie the tree to the top of the car but right now my tule box is up there with all of our snowboards in it and it's right in the center if, if the tule was off to one side we could have actually strapped the tree to the tule box this is actually easier we just put it in the car got a nice tarp to make sure the car doesn't get scratched up and we'll be like home in five minutes to set up the tree it's always stressful because that's when all the ornaments get broken. Although now you guys are a little more, I don't know, capable than when you were little. So hopefully all the ornaments get on the tree without breaking. Right, Melissa? Did no, you break one last year? No Melissa? names. No, I didn't break one last year. No. Annie did, right? Did I'm was kidding. it Annie? Oh, someone did. Someone it. did. It could have been Maria. I don't know who did. What do you think, Tim? Well, it's nice. She doesn't like it. No, it's nice. I didn't say that. Does it fit in there good? 
Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go get groceries. Cold. Are you cold? No. <laughs> I am. Do you know this is like the temperature of a curling rink, kind of? Well, I know. That's cold too. That's why I don't curl. Okay. Tree's uh, going in. Tammy's just going to straighten it out. Usually I do that, but we're What's just that? dividing and conquering. So we're going to go do some grocery shopping and then we'll come back and make sure the tree's sturdy and steady and then we can start putting ornaments on it. This year, I think our cat Ratchet, the black one that we have, that cat's gonna be trouble. We have to put those expensive ornaments on the top of the tree so yeah. that he doesn't like, but oh, he's really we'll, tall. We'll really have to make sure that the ornaments are on tight because we have this uh, Jesse tree, is that what it is? Yeah, it's a And the, tree. the kids put ornaments on that and Ratchet has been knocking them down like they're, he's, just uh, felt. they're, like they're just felt little felt things, yeah, but he likes playing with everything in our house, so he's trying to get it, everything that, everything that looks like a toy to him, he's after it. Which is everything. Which is everything. Melissa and I are going to pick up some stuff. We also have to stock up because this weekend we're going snowboarding, so I need to get my kit of Egg McMuffin stuff ready. I think eggs we have at home, so we need the ham, we need the English muffins, cheese we have, hash browns we have. Half the hash browns are really Oh, good. and I need chicken because we're going to make a nice chicken meal when we're done snowboarding. Okie dokie. Oh, and uh, public service announcement. If you are in Canada and you don't have a tree yet and you want one, a real one, I'd get out early to get one. I think this uh, shortage is countrywide. So um, get yourself, if you want a real one, uh, get yourself a tree. We should go tree hunting. We used to do that. We used to get a permit and then we'd go out into the, the uh, forest and we'd cut down our own trees, which was a lot of fun. That was even colder than... We should get like a big one like Ashley and Heidi used to always get. Yeah, like our, one that, like, our friend, uh, our friend Patricia and her girls Ashley and Heidi and her former husband Clint, who passed away, they used to get these massive trees, 15, 16, 17 feet tall trees that you would see in malls. They would put that in their house. It was like the ultimate Griswold tree. It was hilarious. Their house was a double deck. Or well, they had two yeah. story, yeah, so they filled it up. We couldn't do that because we were crazy, bungalow. crazy man, crazy. And our poor cat. Hey, what'd they do to you, Tinkerbell? You're not a shark. You're a kitten. Cat. She likes it like that. I don't think she does. She's like, get this off of me. Get this <laughs> off of me. Ooh, nice Christmas decorating, babe. I'm not done. It's a good start. Really hot here by the. Yep. Must have just had it on. Yep. That's a good sized tree, hey? <laughs> awesome. When we got some really good Christmas chocolate. This stuff, Ferrero Rocher, love these things. Classic for Christmas. Of course, cannot do Christmas without these. Classic. And you got to be careful when you're buying these because they're sticking in these assorted ones that are like dark chocolate and I don't know why they're messing with the classic recipe. These are classic. Why is that wet? And then one of my all-time favorites, After Eights. And we got a bunch. And they're not going to survive till Christmas, but uh, that's okay. All right, we're going to have supper. We're going to put stuff away. I think I'll wrap it up here. We'll catch up. Well, maybe I'll get a little bit of the tree set up. We'll see. We'll see if we get ambitious and do that tonight. That might wait till tomorrow. If not, we'll catch you tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll catch you in a bit. We'll see. It's up in the air.